It's an honor to be here, and I hope I can talk him into running again. My name is Bob Hazen, and I believe that. I'm Dylan Kobe from uh, Fort Campbell High School, Junior TC. Here to meet uh, President Bush, hopefully get his book and read it. Very proud to meet him, very honorable man. I'm Charlie Cusick from uh, Fort Campbell ROTC, and uh, I'm here to meet President Bush. I'm very excited about meeting uh, former president, and um, I'm looking forward to getting to his book and reading it and enjoying it because I heard it's a very good book. I'm James Cusick, and I'm here to meet the President of the United States. I'm very excited to meet him. He's a very good man, and um, I'm just very ecstatic. Well, we're Mr. and Mrs. Matt Anderson. This is Maddie, our baby. We're here to get our book signed by former President uh, George Bush. And excited to meet him for the first time. She's excited. Okay, um, I'm Megan Montoya. I am very honored to be here today. Um, I, for as long as I can remember since his presidency, I've wanted to meet him. Um, to shake his hand. And I am very honored.
Lifetime, like I'm so honored to meet him. I'm so glad I finally got to, to see him. Hello, my name is uh, Captain Dusty King. This is my wife, Amy. Uh, we came just to, uh, for one, to meet the president. We've always respected and admired him uh, for his service. And we appreciate that he brings that for us as a country and uh, to the military also. So. We, we've always liked him. We're Texans, and so him being the governor and then moving on to the presidency, it's like a big, a big deal to meet him. Um, I'm Deanna McLaughlin. I'm a city council member in Clarksville. I'm a military spouse. And uh, it was great to come out and meet the man that supported our soldiers and families during my husband's career. And uh, it was nice to look him in the eye and shake his hand and thank him for his support. So, what did great. he say? When you he said, I'm here, you know, I support soldiers, but most importantly, their families. So that's great. It was nice. Nice. So how I pulled out my campaign buttons from 2004. <laughs> <laughs> they set the metal detector off, but it's okay. <laughs> So how does this rank in life experiences? Uh, this is great. This is, I mean, to meet a, a former president instead of in a crowd like last time when he was out at the airfield was pretty great. Especially somebody you have a lot of admiration for. Just tell us who you are. Uh, I'm Sergeant Major Christopher Self and this is my wife Dana. And we've been stationed here since 1990. We're assigned to the 5th Special Forces Group. So take us back to when you first met President, then President Bush. Well, he was not President Bush. It was right after uh, he did the inauguration with uh, President Obama. It was in uh, April 2009. He came through on a tour of the Center for the Intrepid down at Bamsey. I was down there getting my prosthetics worked on. Had my bicycle, and he asked whose bike it was. It was mine, so we started talking about bicycles, because most people don't know he's big into bicycling. He invited me to go cycling with him any time. I said, well, you name the place and the time and I'll be there. And he said, Friday at night at my house. We got to go cycling with him at the, in uh, Crawford, Texas for the day. And then a couple of weeks ago, his aide called up and said that they were coming to Fort Campbell and wanted to see us again. Here we are. What is that like to say to, that the president called you all up and said, hey, love to hang out with you and see you when you come back. All right, that's very cool. Yeah, he, he meets a million people a day, so it's, you know, it's surprising when he remembers you. But really surprising that he remembered that we're here at Fort Campbell still stationed here. So it was, it was pretty impressive. It was pretty pretty awesome. So, and then he invited us to go biking with him again in April. So we're going to do another three-day mountain bike trip with him. So what was it like in there today? It was pretty awesome. 
he, he looks good. Everything looks, looks awesome. So aside from you know your personal experience, what do you think it means for Fort Campbell to have a former president come here? Uh, it means everything. One of the things when we talked about when I got to go second with him was one of the things that he missed the most about being president. And he said the number one thing he missed the most was being commander in chief. You know, being involved with the troops, being commanding the troops, was his favorite part of the job. So it really shows a lot. He's coming here, and he's you know such a supporter, of the 101st as well. So. Can you take us um, back a little bit and tell us about your injuries and, and kind of what happened? I was wounded in Iraq in December of 2005. And, uh, there was a prison break in the little camp that I was at. I got shot once in each leg, and I had nerve damage in my right leg, so the lower leg didn't work. And in July of 2006, we had an amputation. He obviously found it important enough to make a personal connection with you, and that one that still endures to this day. Well, I'm going to give credit to my wife. She can tell you about her little scrap. She's a scrapbook. I made him a, uh, a photo book of all of his land, of the whole Crawford. Um, uh, the ranch? Yeah, the ranch. And um, I took pictures all over, all over, and then um, I sent the book back. I sent two of them just to see what would happen, and he signed it and sent it back to me. So it's on our coffee table. So. What was your visit like this morning with him? You know, he just, he totally remembered us, and so he asked Chris if he was going to be able to keep up next time for the ride. So. <laughs> He's, he's very, very um, impressive. We really, really like him. So. Is he a funny guy? Can you talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm, I will say this about him, though. He can hammer on a mountain bike. So if you ever do go biking with him, don't expect to have some troll, stroll through the neighborhood right. We had a tour of the ranch. You better go there in shape because he can ride. So what does a visit like this do for the morale of the troops? Well, you see the line. When the line uh, started, I guess at five o'clock this morning, the guys just love it. You know? it. It would be a hundred times worse if the division was back. Right? So, uh, you know, because it's a president that we can all connect with. You're not. You're talking about a president that led, led the nation through war that the young generation still knows. It's not like. Uh, uh, 15, 20 years yeah, ago. Yeah, 15, 20 years ago, a Vietnam leader came to visit. You know, we still connect, but it's not a personal connection. So when you have a personal connection like President Bush coming through, it means a lot for the, the troops.